Hello and welcome to your in-depth horoscope forecast for the Sun or the Ascendant for week commencing the 8th of June. If you've yet to subscribe to my channel, I'd be honoured if you did so now. Please click or tap on the bell notification symbol. Also, if you'd like to chat with me directly, you can do so on Twitter at Horoscope Ace. Or please join my wife and I for our daily astrology and spirituality show by seeing the plainness beneath this video. We've been doing this a month. It's great fun. It's proven really popular and you can get your free daily horoscope every single day. This week begins with the Sun still in the sign of Gemini. And of course, we've got Venus here too in a retrograde. But this week, the Sun is going to be clashing with both Mars and Neptune, which are joined together in a conjunction in the sign of Pisces. This can be a week when there can be some scandal and gossip doing the rounds. If you come into contact with anyone who you know tends to be uh, someone who enjoys spreading rumours or being a little bit indiscreet, then it's definitely a time to keep your guard up. There's also a quarter moon which happens on Saturday, which emphasises this third twelfth house energy. It's also a time when our reality can be altered somewhat. The information that we read whether it's through traditional newspapers or it's through social media, there is the big potential that there's a greater chance of distortion of what reality is. And that can all feed into our own situations as well. Also, as this week draws to a close, the sun is going to be clashing in a quincunx with Jupiter and also Pluto. Of course, they're continuing their retrograde. So it's going to be very important when it comes to even our attitudes towards longer term finances and resources that we do try to act on facts and not what we think the reality is. So whatever we're trying to deal with this week, it is all about getting it down to an earthy, grounded level where we can decipher what's for real because I do think there's going to be the shifting mist of reality and that can make all sorts of relationships and conversations a little bit tricky to say the least. Your specific forecast, Leo, suggests this is not the best of weeks to go into business with a friend. Yes, if you're thinking about your long-term future, and making some key financial decisions, I would hold off until next week. It's not that anything sinister is going to happen this week. It's just that the uh, energy of Neptune on Mars in your sector of longer term resources can distort uh, the reality for all of us. In fact, the sun remains in a very buoyant part of your scope. Venus is here too. It's making you think about friendships and associations. You're probably yearning to get together with people. If you are able to do that, you'll be delighted. But Venus does forge a very positive angle with Uranus. So it's possible that a conversation with a friend can spark an idea, but for you as an individual, the collective can be great fun for you at the moment, but not if you've got too many politics washing around. So I try to stay clear of those. Also, as the week draws to a close, the sun is angling up in a tense angle with both Jupiter and Pluto. So if you are thinking about reshaping your future, it has to work in a practical way and financial. You can't be too airy-fairy about your hopes. It's been a real pleasure being with you. If you'd like to go beyond your zodiac sign and embrace serious astrology and find out so much more about what makes you tick, please see the offer beneath this video where you can get yourself your free personal 12-month forecast and character analysis and get 30% off. Or you can check out having a live one-to-one -one reading with me. But for now, take care, stay safe and good luck.